Hey guys, so let's go ahead and play some Magic Duels. This is kind of my way to interact with you guys, and I know you want to do gameplay. Magic Online was not a scenario that I could imagine doing gameplay for, just because the graphics are not... It's hard to tell what the actual cards are, <laughs> which is a problem, right? Especially if you want to be more new and more casual. I... I've been playing for a while and I love it. I think um, I'm getting the hang of it. So I went ahead and I played a ton and I'm like a level 9 or something. Let's just open some booster packs. I'm hoping for a Liliana. Um, this card is actually very good. We can use this card. It's a 4-4. Four, four. And this card is not bad. So next booster pack. It is a bomb. You have to treat this kind of as like sealed almost. Titan strength. Oh yes, another little uh nice. Oh, and um one of these. So we kind of needed one of these. And oh another one. This was a relatively good pack for us. So let's go back to our return to the store. We will be playing my green black elf deck. I will have I'll show you my elf deck. I made a few different decks. I'm trying to find them now. I guess this is where you would go. And then we'll play some people live. Will be kind of fun. This obviously will be a longer video, which I know some of you enjoy that. And let's go to my decks. And I figured out how to change the background. So obviously I picked the Falia looking character, even though it is elves. So we do need, and I know how to organize now too. <laughs> a lot of improvements, um, honestly to okay so we have we probably need one more of this okay that's one drops are really good because your elites are very good we need probably one more of that other person the discard free one discard is very good if they kill it you didn't we just open one of those i would play four it is very, very good. Um, assuming I find it. Well, this card is good too. It's a little expensive, so let me take a look at this card again. It is 6-6 six, six Flyer. Whenever a permanent owned by another creature put in a graveyard from the battlefield, you draw a card, you lose one life. That could backfire on you, but it's a bomb. And let's see. I got to find that dude that is a free one elf. Ah, there we go. So we have four of those. That, that card I like a lot. Like, I'm not going to lie and say that card is bad because that card is actually pretty good in this format. Because, again, if you view this as a super limited format, then, uh, then that card is actually playable. So it looks like that's going to be it. I got to remove three different cards and maybe mess with my manner a bit i guess i could just remove this card is actually not good for this deck because we cannot curve into it the triple black is a little um too much for us mm, languish is very good though i love languish and this card is i mean it's not bad i don't want to say it's a bad card it's just not good um you know bombs or bombs are really nice i do love our bombs quite a bit uh, read the bones. I think read the bones has to be cut. What the maybe leave it in comment below. I think read the bones is the one that has to go. And yeah, I think it's going to be read the bones. Juggernaut is actually one of the strongest cards. If they do not deal with Juggernaut, you just win. Uh, I do like these summons. I think I'll add another summon back in and then take out the read the bones and maybe a few other cards. Summon is very good for this type of deck because, oh, oops, that did not go. Because that's what you're trying to do. You're trying to just play your big card, and a lot of times they're in the graveyard. So let me see if we have, nope. What am I looking for again? I'm looking for a card. Let's see. Let's see, and... Oh, I'm looking for the elf, the 1-1 one, one elf that draws you one when it comes in play. I mean, I 
probably have more than one of those, right? Okay, I guess I do not have more than one. That means you have to cut. Um, I don't know. These cards are all very good, so I don't really want to cut any of... If I had to cut one, I feel like it would... Oh, I have to cut a ton of cards, actually. Okay, I'm going to cut this demon dude. This demon dude... No, the demon dude's pretty good. I like him. Um, this is a tough decision. I don't know. Our land base is not correct. Juggernaut? No, no, read the bones. That's what I was cutting. But that's only going to cut me twice. So I need to cut one more. Languish is really that good. Because a lot of players that I'm playing against are also playing elves. So I need a lot of, I need more of these guys. Like... A ton more and maybe I go just one color I guess I would cut I do love languish it's hard for me to cut languish but I would cut this blood right dude let's take a look at the ratio we, uh, the curve is not bad it's it's not great but it's not bad and now we go ahead and we look at what we need for land it looks like 12 8 that's pretty much right. That's spot on. Um, okay, let's go play. Let's finally play. Let's save changes and not do this. Have to do this again. And we're gonna go ahead and we'll play someone live because we don't have any coins. And as you will see, I am I've leveled up. Whatever that. Nope. <laughs> yeah. Um, I promise. I played this game quite a bit. And we're gonna go to ranked. Rank. I believe we are rank eight right now. So hopefully you can find someone. One of the main problems about this game, in my opinion, is sometimes you don't find anyone and you're just waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting. Totally non-alcoholic beverage here. Oh, we're loading and we're done. Okay, we got to fight. <laughs> okay. All right. Man. Man, how many battles should we do? One or two? Um, it's kind of an, I also like the fact that you're not like, you don't have to win two games in a row. You just got to win one game. And I love the fact there's no sideboard. Oh, see, I'm a level eight and I'm going to beat this level seven because that's how level eight, uh, you get a free mulligan. So if I drawed, if I drew a new hand, I would get a free mulligan, but this hand is very good. Uh, and it's my turn. Yeah, this hand is very good. Obviously, I'm hoping to draw, like, maybe an elf. An elf would be good. Let's see what type of deck he's playing. Well, a lot of times... Oh, so the only type of decks I've ever seen in this game is mono red aggro. Ooh, Juggernaut's pretty good. And black green elves, which is the deck I'm playing right now. Black green elves is very good, but I think I need Liliana, and then I need... A few other cards to make it optimized. Oh, he's Boros. I have a Boros deck too. Yeah, that that one one's really annoying. I would rather actually just take hits by the one one, but there's a lot of sacrifice outlets. So yeah, that's kind of oh nice. We are going to double stack. I actually love Languish here. Uh, if I get the second black, because he's going to play something good. I like languishing. Uh, Rogue's Passage and in for one. Oh, that's kind of weird that Rogue's Passage sits like right there, kind of like a non land. But regardless, and finally, we can languish here, but what would be the point? I guess we could if we were really greedy, but there's no point. I love my self language though. Uh, it's one of the best cards in this format. Mainly because you're dealing with aggro slash elves. Elf tribal. I think 50% of the deck is some combination of those two decks. And the other decks are kind of like weird decks, like four colors. But at this level, the player players are not bad. They're not like terrible players, so obviously he's going to try to bait me and then hit me, you know, sack it and then hit my dude for... But honestly, I just want my dudes because they make elves, which can block him all day. 
And now they will be making tons of elves. Oh, I can go Juggernaut here. Oh, yeah, yep, yeah, that's a card. So yeah, he is Mon Boros Aggro, which I also have Boros Aggro. And if you didn't pay money for packs, that's probably what you're playing right now. I love Lang. I don't know if I should Languish here and then reset. No, I need my tokens. So now that I have two of these, it's very difficult for him to beat me because he doesn't have mass removal, given the fact he's white and red. Maybe he has tragic arrogance, but my best creature is better than his best creature right now. So I can attack, and then he probably wants me to attack, but I'm not going to attack. And that's a when you're playing green black elves, you actually the control deck. And you just sit around and you make elves until you have a mass amount, a mass critical of elves, and that is that. I do like this deck a lot. And the Juggernauts, you might think is kind of weird, but it, they are probably one of the best cards in this format. Oh, he's going to shoot down one of my cards? Why? Why did he do that? Okay, cool. Uh, twin boat, so he's going to take down those two, and then he's going to offer the trade. That's not bad, like, I'm okay with that. You use two cards to kill one of my cards. Cool. Twin boat, so he obviously didn't pay money for <laughs> to buy booster packs, because, ooh, there's a, there's a nice card. Um, you can kind of tell from this game, and it sounds like terrible, but you can kind of tell from this game, like, who paid money and who didn't pay money. And that's very sad, in my opinion, at least. So we get another elf, which is good. We get a land, which is good, that we can play, confirm. And then, assuming that we draw another land, we can flip her over. And yeah, let's go attack. No, he wants us to attack. We'll just skip. He definitely wants us to attack, but we are not going to do that. We're going to play the long, grindy game because our cards are superior than his cards when it comes down to long grindy games if he's like boros aggro if he's the deck i believe he's gonna he's playing he's out of options i mean if he's twin bolting oh good i'll just take it <laughs> i'll just take the damage you're gonna use all your resources to do what i mean okay take it and then he has two. I don't even know if he uh, remembers that he has Rogue Passage. Does Rogue Passage produce? Yeah, it does. It's just kind of weird. It's off to your side. Oh, good. He dealt some damage to me on turn seven. <laughs> Nissa, once he flips, is in. Oh. Oh, no. It's okay because we have this card. <laughs> And this card will actually flip with her. So obviously we do not play the land. We're going to play this card. And then we'll play the land. We don't want that card. Although we can use it if we wanted to. We grab this card. We confirm it. And back to life you go. And we will play our... Oh, we'll grab a, we'll grab a land. Which is great. And then we'll play the land. But we already had another land. And then we'll get to flip her. And I'll make a 4-4. Four, four. So I'm going to make a 4-4. Four, four. Because that seems like what we should be doing right now is not being greedy. Did we Yes, we made a 4-4. Four, four. Uh, we're not going to be greedy. And we can attack back. But is that necessary? I'll just keep the 1-1 one, one back. Just in case. No, I'll just... Mm, yeah, I think that's correct. We win the game here unless he kills her somehow. But obviously I'm not going to block. Because <laughs> I need to protect the princess as much as we can. And then the princess just wins us the game. Her plus one is very good. Negative two, we're not going to use it again, hopefully. And we're just plus one. We'll either draw a card or we'll put land in play. And we're essentially two going plus one every single turn and he's a mono he's a boros deck we've locked down the game the game is one and there's very little he can do about it yes he played his wall okay it's a 06 wall that's fine i'm not going to block it 
Uh, here I can actually block the Meyer dude. I do love myself Languish, but always activate her first. See what you got. Um, that's not bad. That's going to activate a trigger that will, and then we can play like, oh, we cannot play. Do we play a land? I feel like we did not. Okay. We did play a land. Okay. We'll play this card, get a, another elf, which is good. We can attack in cause he only has a one, one. And I, I don't, at this point, I don't care. I do not care if he kills. Well, I do care if he kills that guy. That's kind of annoying. So let me attack in with everyone but the... This game is already won. We have won the game. We have stabilized. There's very little a Boros deck can do to us at this stage in the game. And we're just going to keep playing our best cards. And we'll trade and he'll shoot down. What is he going to shoot down? He doesn't have really good options. Oh, is he going to shoot down the... Oh, crap. He's gonna shoot down Nissa. Oh, okay, that was uh, my bad. That was my bad. I completely forgot he could have done that. But it is uh, okay, I guess, because we, unless he has like tragic arrogance, but even then we get an artifact and we get the best. Okay, he's going to, that's fine. That is fine. And that's the problem with this type of paid versus non-paid. You can kind of tell at this point in the game. I have, my deck is full of bombs, by the way, as I hope to draw one. I did not draw one, but that's okay because I can play another one of these guys. Again, this, the Juggernaut is honestly one of the best cards in this format. It's so funny to think about that. And I will swing with everybody. And I have a lot of good bombs in green and it looks like black. So we're going to get some damage in and we'll get some more damage and he cannot block the juggernaut actually with his wall. So that's a tremendous amount of damage coming in that is unblocked and language. Oh, Titan strength. He's going to times are desperate. He's going to kill my herds, dude. Probably. Yeah, it's gotta be this guy. This guy is so good. Uh, so good right now. And when you're Titan strengthening a wall, <laughs> that's not great. It is not good at all. And he's down to nine with no, I mean, I'm at 15. I'm really safe and burn. Oh, that's the other card I never got. Exquisite fire. I kind of need that card. Okay, so we got a lot of creatures. We're doing well. Uh, we got languish just in case, although we didn't need it. In Languish is very good underdraw against a mirror match because you just pretend that like you don't have cards and then you just languish them and it's over. Oh, continue. I think we'll play one more round and that should be about, I'm guessing half an hour. We are 18 minutes in, but I kind of dirtled around and open packs and stuff. I like the uh, platform. I think this is subscriber friendly, meaning subscribers can kind of understand what's happening. When I did magic online, I just, the images were just too small. I don't know what, oh, so he's going to kill. Well, he really hates Juggernaut. I give him that much. He's done a very good, good job containing Juggernaut, but again, we can pull a ton of bombs. That's not one of them, but that's going to help us. And there we go. And there we go with more elves. We will just attack with everybody again. Oh, what is this? What's that? What is this? I don't know what that button is. I guess we just continue. What is that button on the purple button? What's going on? Is we're going to attack with all. Oh, and that purple button is still here. Weird. I've never seen that before, but okay. And we get him down to five. He's dead next turn unless he board wipes and there is no board wipe in red for four or white in four. The only, again, one of the crazy parts about this game is some cards that are not good or very good or not good in real life. Like Juggernaut, who would play Juggernaut in real life? The answer would be, well, nobody, but the answer is who's going to play. Oh, that's Exile. What did they Exile for me? 
Oh, okay, that's what happened. It was from exile. Got it. Got it, got it, got it. I wish, um, I kind of do wish that players would get, like, it would be easier to get coins and stuff so everyone could have, like, decks they want to play instead of having to pay for them. Obviously, his deck on the other side is less than optimal, and he's going to take his full time to stall, as most of the players in this position do. So, yeah. I guess we get 150 likes on the Stalking Tiger. I don't know when I'm going to open that, but I'm probably going to open that sometime soon. And this is typical behavior. It is really when you have the game in hand, instead of saying, like, good game. All right, you can't even chat each other, which I believe is good because... <laughs> Because you can imagine the chat game. And that's another thing I didn't want to do Magic Online was have subscribers. Well, not not have subscribers. Just have people who are trolls just chatting. You can see where he is from the little orange little button. Um, he has decided to take his time to exile my 4-4. Okay. Good for you. Um, and the game is out of reach. Because I'm going to draw a bomb. Come on, bomb. We need to draw a really good bomb. Or any bomb. That's not a bomb, but do we have... No, we have, <laughs> we have only one. But this will help our deck because it will help... Uh, so we'll, can, we'll grab one of these. And we'll grab one of these. I hate how it does that when you grab it. And we'll, we will play that one, and then we'll play this one too. And then we'll attack with everybody. And we should, we have a ton of different bombs in this deck. I just haven't drawn any of them. So he's got to block the free one and go down to one, which is not. He's at one life, each facing down five creatures. But even if he concedes, what's going to happen is they're just going to give him, like, a robot to play. Or they're just going to give me a robot to play. So he turned, he hasn't turned off his uh, damage effects, and there's some lag. I've turned off mine because they're really annoying to do. And I guess we'll do one more game after this one. I do love this deck. I feel like this deck, from everything I've read online, is the strongest deck. The Black Green Elves deck. And hopefully I can show you how explosive. This was not a good indicator of how most of my games go. Uh, most of my games go extremely fast. Um, this is more of a control grindy matchup, but we we have a ton of over-the-top bombs. You got that demon dude. We have multiple demons. Oh, okay, he's going to try to burn our creatures, which is fine because, okay, he gonna burn that for two and now he's gonna discard a card but like what what's his like objective i don't get like what he's trying to do even tragic arrogance probably wouldn't have saved him no i might have the it would have saved him it would have given him a wall and then a creature uh, and then i would have a creature but like i said at this point I have a ton of different bombs in my deck. So it is very, very unlikely that um, he will be... Um, I mean, that's not a bad blocker. And that is not a bomb. I'm just going to attack with everyone and see what he does. I don't, I don't feel like there are any outs. No, I don't want to play a card. Okay, I'll play a card. Ah, uh, he quit. He's replaced by AI. And that's what happens a lot is people get upset and then they quit because they're at one life. And he's dead. And when you quit, you don't actually, the opponent doesn't automatically win the game, which I feel like is really smart. Uh, what happens is uh, an AI comes in and plays against you. So you still have, see, like you get 20 coins at like level nine or whatever level I'm at, which is not, like the easiest to win coins. Like how is anyone supposed to win like coin, like booster packs? Oh, I'm a level nine. So let's go to level 10 and then we're done. I love this deck. The deck is very fun to play with. And it, it feels like a draft deck, but like way overpowered. It, feel like, it feels like a draft deck with a ton of bombs. 
And as you can see, we have other decks that I will be playing as well. In hindsight, I should have paid $40 instead of $25 because I need more gold coins. Even if you have a deck that can win you gold coins, it's still not great. Uh, one of the biggest problems, like this is a huge problem, I feel like, in this. You need to win eight matches to buy one pack. Assuming that it's 50-50, you need to play 16 matches to win one pack. Like, what? <laughs> like, what? Like, to win one booster pack, you need to win eight matches or... Uh, I always like to see that the person didn't change the profile picture because I have a feeling like they didn't buy stuff. Like if I recommend you guys to enjoy this, I would actually, if you can afford it, and then you know I'm very, oh, I'm playing a level 11. Good. Um, so you sometimes you play like randomly leveled. Ooh, we got a, I like this hand because of opponent plays first. I like the hand because of Languish. And obviously, I have no idea what deck he's playing. And he's going to play aggro, which is... I, I guess we got to stall a bit. And we got our archer, which can help us do that. I like the archer a lot, and I would need two more of them. Ooh, that card's very good, too. So, yeah, archer. Languish is going to be very good if he's playing Boros. <laughs> so he's probably playing Boros. <laughs> uh, or some type of... um. Oh, I had the Renown deck. The Renown deck is so fun to play with. That the 2-1 double strike Renown creature, I'm going to block. Does he have like a trick? I don't know. Maybe he does. But I'm not going to take early damage because that's not what I want to do right now. I want to survive until I can... Oh, he's stuck at 1, so we won this game. This game is 1. I'm just going to wait, and then he'll play stuff, and I'll languish it, and then I'll play my stuff, which is better. Assuming he didn't... The only way he can beat me is if, if he paid $40 for tokens. It sounds ridiculous, but this is what the game is, because it's so hard to win these tokens that you there's no way you can win enough of them to make a decent deck. What is he doing? Ooh, double languish. Okay. Maybe he knows I have uh, languish. But that's unlikely. I don't know. I don't want to play my Hunt Master yet. But it seems like I'm okay. I mean, I'm the control grindy deck. Although I didn't have any, I also have a tremendous amount of really good one and two drops. But we get to level 10, so we'll get to see a new picture like 45 minutes later. Let me know if you guys like longer videos like this, or do you just want to see like one game? You want to see one deck in one game? He's playing the Renown deck, which is good for me. I'm going to board wipe here. I feel like Languish, I need to get at least a one for one. And I'm okay because I got this card. I just can just Languish and then keep playing the Woodland. Or I can Languish again and then play my Woodland Beller. And that would be very good. I do like that card quite a bit. That was a one for one. And that tempo wise wasn't the greatest. But there's no way he can predict I have a second language. In this game, you only get two rares of the same rare that you can put in. So it's unlikely he thinks I have. Okay, so we are just winning this game. But do we want to be greedy? I think we'll be greedy. No more second language. We're going to go for it. We're just going to beat him down. And we have a lot of really good plays because this dude can get us more elves. And he's kind of big. Yeah, we can we can accumulate quite a bit of elves here. I'm going to grab the elf that... Oh, okay, so... Yeah, that's... We're going to race. I wasn't going to wait for it. I could have waited for a languished and then... But I feel like we are such a advantage right now that there's really no reason to do that. We have a 6-5. And we're going to grab one of my favorite cards. This card is actually very, very good. Because we have so many elves. And obviously it's going to become much bigger. And we will attack. Because why not? He's going to try to attack with us. The only out I can see is if he somehow gives it titan strength but he's mono white right now 
he gives it titan strength and then pumps it with angelic something and then just goes to town but even then that's why i got this dude out because he can shoot them down i'm gonna have a ton of elves i'm gonna have two more elves he's gonna be at 4-4 and unless in titan strength until end of turn maybe he gets one good damage in but not that much more And we won the game. He missed a ton of land drops. I mean, I kind of feel kind of bad for him. Hmm. Oh, leave in the comments below if you've made it to this particular stage of the video. What type of decks do you want to see me play? But keep in mind, uh, we are playing a... Oh, that's pretty good. We'll play this card, and then we'll play this card. And then we will attack with everybody, and he should be pretty close to dead. We'll play. Oh, we'll play this card, dude. This is kind of how elves works. Uh, it just makes a ton of these tokens, and that's why the. Oh, he's been replaced by AI as usual. And I'm going to attack with everybody, and he's just going to die. He made a critical mistake. He should have held the dude back because the 7-7 seven, seven is... You just, you have to block it. Oh, the AI is trying to um do stuff. That's interesting. He's going to shoot down my... Oh, I get to choose a creature. Hmm. I'll choose this guy. I don't need him right now. I just want to do some damage, and then the game is over. He didn't do a good job drawing land, so I don't really. He's a level eleven. Oh, so that's what that was his plan. So the AI is doing a good job showing to us what his plan was. His plan was essentially to attack multiple times with the double strike mechanic, and I had a deck like that, but it honestly doesn't compete against a deck like this. But oh. Nice, I love this card, and we can actually activate the card as, and that's why I love turn six, you activate her, or if you have, I should say, if you have six land and untapped, you get an activation. Obviously, the game is already over, but still, it's always nice to see her and play. I get to play her a lot. I don't know why. I guess I'll just do this one. Nope, I don't want that. Did I do that? Or not okay um so i get that in my hand i get to play it. i get more elves <laughs> so this is what makes the elf deck absolutely dominant uh it is the best deck i am missing a few critical elves but that can't really be helped and we're going to attack for everybody and that should be game and we win a massive 20 coins but i'm kind of excited to see what level 10 looks like I guess we looked at what level 10 looks like, but I I wish like you would get coins when you do stuff. But you don't get coins for, oh, what, what is he doing? Oh, he's discarding. And we won, we beat Simon and we won a massive 10. So we're apprentice now. So what, we get a new picture or no? We get a new picture? Nope, we're still that vampire dude. Okay, so that's it for this particular deck. And I will show you my other two decks. I have that deck. I have this deck. And I have... Oh, this deck is not correct. Let me go ahead and fix this deck really quickly. And we'll play with this. I like... This is a Selesnia type of renowned deck. It's very creative. So you can kind of see what the deck is going. I, I think I need green, I need green. I need a green card and then that should fix the deck or do I need land? It is nice that they don't make you rebuy the cards that you can use the same, uh, essentially the same cards. That is my Jace. Uh, Jace is not as good in this format as he is in standard because you need multiple Jaces and yeah, it's, it's very strange. I'm just going to go here. It's very, very strange. Some cards in standard, which are very good, are not good in this particular format. And what, do I have bombs in here? No, I don't have any bombs. I don't know why I don't have like 
This card is very, very good in this particular deck of White Weenies. Oh, I have more of this card. Anyway, I'll develop this deck a little later. Okay, guys, I will catch you next time.